Amy Rohrbach and uh, T.J. Holmes, and I think there's good reason that people thought that maybe they had uh, they had broken up. Remember their their latest episode of their podcast, they got very raw about it and talking. You know, Amy came out and said basically, I gave up my career for this relationship, and she got she got choked up while she was saying it. So a lot of people were wondering when that podcast ended. Well, they got in an argument too. Yeah, and they had an argument in the middle of the podcast, so people thought when it was over, hey, are they still talking or what happened after the fact? So I guess this is sort of the after the podcast podcast. Uh, here's what Amy and TJ said. Hey folks, just wanted to check in and let you know that um, despite what you've been hearing, we are still together. <laughs> Um, yeah, we're hearing from a lot of you all on our latest uh, episode of the podcast. It was something we really struggled and debated about whether or not we should even put out there, but at this point, I'm glad we did. Yeah, I am too, because our, our larger goal in putting out our latest episode was to show that, yes, we like to put pictures of us smiling like everyone else and laughing on social media, but if we want to be real and we want to be transparent, we wanted to show all the sides uh, of us and, and I would say most relationships. I gotta say, I, I want to say something. When that, when T.J. Holmes starts by saying, "Despite what you're hearing," normally when you hear those words, it's what other people are saying about them. <laughs> it's what they said about themselves. <laughs> Despite what you're hearing that we said about us, right. we're not broken up. And it leads me to believe, and I think it's kind of smart in terms of just business that they've orchestrated this thing, yes. that they wanted this out there with this kind of drama to gin up interest to the podcast. Absolutely.